Hey everybody, welcome to Instant Knowledge Series and in this video we'll be talking about why you need the beta bars. Alright, so you must have seen in ID, you know, Beam or any uh, slab, right? So they look similar in the section that we got uh, bento bars just like this, right? So why we need uh, these bars? Alright, so the question is why we need the bento bars? So you know that my handwriting is poor and sorry for that. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we have got two reasons for this. Uh, the first one is okay, so if we see uh, the bending moment diagram of any you know fixed supported beam, right? So it's a beam and it's fixed supported, and we'll see that bending moment varies just like this, right? So here we have got negative moment, here we got positive, and here we get negative moment, right? So we see that at the support we have got negative moment, right? So to contract this negative moment, uh, this negative moment. So we need bent up bars, right? Bent up bars. Okay, so the second reason is that, so if we see the shear force diagram, so we'll see uh, something like this, right? Shear force diagram of a beam. Okay, so you see that at the supports, these two supports, the shear force is, shear force is high at the support. supports, right? Okay, so in order to contract this shear force as well, we need the bent up bars. Okay, so these are the two reasons for which we provide the bent up bars. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care.